gonna share with you the best way to create this crop circle video in Premiere Pro 2025. Here inside Premiere Pro, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my talking head clip is on video layer number three, and my screen recording is on video layer number one. Then I'm gonna click and hold over here on the rectangle tool and I'm going to select the ellipse tool. Next, I'm gonna go up here to the frame and just click anywhere inside and hold down shift at the same time and drag. And that's going to create a perfect circle. Then I'm just going to select the selection tool and position this in the center of the frame for now. Next, I'll just go ahead and extend this circle to the length of the rest of my clips. Then I'm gonna go up here to the effects tab and I'm going to type in offset and I'm going to click and drag offset onto the talking head clip. And then I'm gonna go back up here to the effects tab and I'm going to type in track mat key and click and drag track mat key onto the talking head clip as well. Then I wanna make sure that the talking head clip is selected and then I'm gonna go up here to the effect controls and scroll down to track mat key. The only thing I'm gonna do here is change the mat to video number four because that's the track that the circle is on and that should mask out the rest of your clip. Next, what we need to do is reposition the clip inside of the circle. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to the offset effect that we added and just drag this down a little bit. And if your circle is a little bit too big, what you can do to make changes is just click on that graphic and then go over here under effect controls and just adjust the scale of that circle. You can make it bigger or smaller. Now, if you wanna add a stroke to this circle, all you have to do is just click on the circle and then hold down alt or option on the keyboard and drag down to video layer number two. Then what we're gonna do is click on that graphic and then I'm gonna go up here to the properties tab. If you don't have the properties tab already, all you have to do is just go up to window and select the properties window and that'll pull it up there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on that shape. I'm going to uncheck the box for fill and I'm going to check the box for stroke. And then we can play around with this stroke and make it bigger or smaller and then just make sure that we have it set to outer. Next, I'm gonna select all of my clips except for the screen recording. Then I'm going to right click and select nest and press OK. Now, if you want to add a drop shadow to your circle, all you have to do is go up here to the effects tab and type in drop shadow and then click and drag that onto your new nested clip and then go up here to effect controls and scroll down here to the drop shadow effect and just adjust these settings to your liking. Then all you have to do to adjust the positioning is just scroll back up here to the top, select motion, and then you can just click on this little box here and you can resize it and reposition it within the frame really quickly. If you want to learn more tips and tricks, check out the video on screen and I'll see you in the next one.